And Jimmy Carter's name is synonymous with Habitat for Humanity. It's a major part of his legacy of service. Our Valencia Jones continues our team coverage, speaking with a woman who now lives in a home the former president helped build. I stayed around the corner in an apartment. It was a bedroom and a half. I had two grandkids that I was raising because my daughter had passed. 86-year-old Sally Hollis says she was offered a chance to own a home through Atlanta Habitat for Humanity in 1988. I was so proud to have a dining room, living room, kitchen, and three bedrooms. It was one of 21 homes built in a week in the Edgewood neighborhood through the Carter Work Project with help from former president and first lady, Jimmy and Rosalind Carter. I kept thinking about Jimmy Carter and his wife, Miss Carter, because when they came and we was building my back porch, we would sit out there sometime and talk for a few minutes. To meet Jimmy Carter, who did this him for me, I was just so proud. 30 years later, she's reflecting on the milestone on Jimmy Carter's 100th birthday and the bond he shared with his wife. They let you see the love that they had with one another. It would make you love one another. Also spreading the love through a shared mission. Which is in Atlanta, where all people have access to quality, affordable housing in safe, vibrant neighborhoods with opportunities to thrive. Atlanta Habitat President and CEO Rosalind Merrick says her mother named her after the First Lady and her father, whose middle name is Ross. She said, well, I do love First Lady Rosalind Carter, so let's name her Rosalind. She studied abroad in Cuba during college and met the Carters, then as fate would have it, later became CEO of Atlanta Habitat. We are so excited to celebrate his 100th birthday with him. President Carter and his wife, former First Lady Rosalind, have been amongst the greatest champions we've ever had for our mission. They've been tireless advocates and some of our greatest hands-on construction volunteers for all of our history. Atlanta Habitat and Wells Fargo broke ground on six new homes here in the Brownsmill Village neighborhood last year. And this Saturday, they plan to dedicate those homes to the homeowners while also honoring the legacies of former president Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind. I wish that I could really go see him and let him know what he done for me and how I think him, him and his wife. They're sending a message from Atlanta to his home in Plains. Happy birthday, President Carter. Happy birthday to you with all the love I have. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News.